my grandfather said there's no feeling like looking out the window and seeing Bob Jenkins or Ronnie Sox or any of those guys he was racing back in the day. I'm Blake McCandless. I'm the color voice of the E-NASCAR Coca-Cola iRacing Series, the voice of a Speedway, a pit reporter for the Cards Tour on Pit Road TV, and a content creator on Twitch. I didn't grow up at the racetrack, but I was still a huge motorsports fan. I uh, loved watching races on television, regardless of what type of motorsport it was. I kind of always favored NASCAR, um, but, but growing up in, in a family with such a great racing history and so much heritage, uh, I have some co cousins that since they were little, they were running junior dragsters and everything. But it was just always kind of eating at you that, you know, you're growing up in a racing family and here you are, you've never hopped in a real thing. And I think that's why iRacing was a great tool for me growing up. Up, uh, being able to kind of fill that void and get that competitive uh, edge out without spending a whole lot of money to do it. We are here at Hickory Motor Speedway. We are testing the limited late model today with Blake McCandless. Uh, when North Wilkesboro was first released on the service, he and I and uh, I think Mike Bumgarner and a couple of others, we raced all the time back then. So we really got to know each other over the last couple of years. Uh, a good friend of mine, Travis Moonhead Brown, uh, is pretty involved with landing in a lot of uh, Huffman racing. So uh, I, I'm a good friend of Travis's and that was kind of how that connection started. You know, the other part of it is, is, is there was a lot of excitement. You know, I've wanted to do this for such a long time. Uh, I feel like I could get in the car and, and you know, do a good job uh, despite not really having any experience. So uh, there was a lot of excitement, a lot of nerves, but uh, it was surreal to kind of wrap up everything that, you know, I've been able to do the last couple of years and kind of cap it off with another brand new experience like this. First thing is you don't want to go out and, and tear it up. You know, the, the one difference in iRacing is that there's no reset button. And uh, so, you know, the one thing I wanted to do is I wanted to warm myself up to it. I wasn't going to go out and, and go, you know, 100% on the first couple of laps. So uh, kind of just got comfortable with everything and, and feeling out where everything is, what full throttle, you know, felt like. And, you know, that's another thing, just getting used to everything in the seat and kind of getting used to what everything feels like. The great thing about iRacing was, was just the bumps. Like, no, like I knew right when I got here, like there's a big bump in the center one and two. Like right after that bump, you pick up the throttle. Yeah. Like, that hooked up. Basically, as soon as I got comfortable with the car, like I understood that instantly. Um, like how to get up off the corner, uh, that was largely through iRacing. Like even though I was kind of slow early on in the day, like I felt like my line on in three and four, at least off the four, uh, was pretty consistent the whole day. Um, just gotta, be, we gotta yeah. work on our restarts. Yeah, yeah, the restart, <laughs> restarts are, uh, the first one was slow and then the second one I spun the tires. So, uh, that's gonna be, uh, that's gonna be the trouble spot. Experiencing a whole race weekend was really probably my favorite part of it. You know, showing up at the track, getting everything unloaded, um, and, and trying to kind of be as sharp as you can all day. It's a long day. Any racetrack you go to, no matter what class you're running, um, you're there for for a long time, uh, working on everything, making sure everything's okay, um, and, and kind of figuring out how, how everything's going to go. Once we're out there pacing and you got a spotter in the ear talking you through, you almost just don't have time to think about it. You know, you're you're trying to scrub your tires, you're trying to focus on getting a really good restart, which, you know, somebody for me that hasn't really driven a stick shift a whole lot, you're really focused on getting through the gears. And, you know, as soon as we dropped the green flag, got a pretty decent start, and um, we had a really good car. Uh, the car's way better than what I was driving it at, but, you know, for somebody that's brand new, that's to be expected. But it was just fun because we... We just unloaded really fast. Um, right off the drop of the green, we're, we're picking off cars, uh, making a couple passes, racing forward, you know, trying to battle with guys and figure out how to set up passes and get to the inside and, and work on, you know, cars. I know the, the two car I was battling with side by side, you know, he's pinching me down and, you know, we're almost hitting off the corner. And uh, just once I was able to kind of get by him, work on him for a couple laps and make a pass, I, I queued up on the radio and said, this is uh, freaking awesome, I guess is the way I'll put it here. Uh, but uh, yeah, the whole team was laughing about that. It, it was a lot of fun. And I, and I know everybody was so disappointed, but uh, I still got out of the car with a huge smile on my face you know um, being able to have that much fun um, you know it, it really didn't dampen my spirits at all that we weren't able to finish the team was distraught but uh, I was uh, I was on cloud nine I, I had a blast and you know 
It's just one of those things. It's just racing. That's one of those things that you just can't control. When we broke, uh, there was definitely a lot of discussion on, you know, them wanting to kind of finish what we started. Um, you know, we were able to talk to a couple of partners to see what we could put together. And, um, you know, it, it came up pretty quickly about a day after uh, the race. We had something in place to where they wanted to bring me back and I was able to secure everything I needed to to make that happen. So it was about a day later, uh, you know, this planned thing that was supposed to be only one race was, uh, was going to turn into two. This is where kind of the previous week's experience really kicked in is, you know, we were able to race forward. We had a car that I think is better than where we qualified. So um, I was able to learn a lot riding in traffic, uh, figuring out what the other lines of the other cars were running uh, because I didn't really get that in a lot of the testing and practicing that I did. So it was helpful to be behind those guys, figure out, you know, where they were weak, where they were strong, where they were better than me. So was able to, to make a pass on the start chased down the 86 and we made a little bit of contact and, and had to save the car and after that I got to figure out what it's like to to drive with a with a right rear tire that's practically on fire so that was uh, <laughs> that was fun as well that uh, to see that if you light up the tires just like in iRacing it's uh, you're, you're having to chase it the rest of chase it the rest of the race before I started my first race, uh, Dale Jr. told me there's a lot you can learn in your first race or your first couple of races, but you can't learn anything if you're not out there. So um, from the very beginning, that was really the whole uh, purpose of it. The whole point was to make sure that we got to the end, we learned everything we can, and you know if we want to do it in the future, uh, you know to be able to uh, be able to take everything from this experience and build on it. You know, I hope I'm not the last one. Uh, I want to see these guys that are running here tonight and other iRacers. I, I'd love to see them get the opportunity or, heck, even even go outrun me. You know, that, that'd that be awesome to see. I think, it. you know, this was a good litmus test of, you know, somebody who truly has zero real-life experience. Could they go out and be respectable in a real race car? And, and I think, you know, we got the answer for that. So I hope that, uh, you know, moving forward there are more – opportunities for a lot of these guys who are running in this Coke series tonight or other top sim racers out there that they realize like hey it's not too far off if you can you know market yourself and and work with a lot of these companies and and have that skill um, that you know there may be an opportunity out there for you so I hope that this is the beginning of you know more opportunities for a lot of people who are strictly sim racers and haven't had that chance to do it I hope this kind of opens the door for a lot of those guys